We all face spiritual battles, and if we want to succeed in this war against the enemy, we must know what he can do and what he cannot do. Therefore, in today's video, I will show you five things that Satan cannot do, according to the Bible. In the end, you will be sure that if you stay firm with God, the devil will not be able to knock you down or destroy you. Okay, I know that people talk a lot about the power of the enemy, and this gives the impression that he has more power than Jesus. Of course, he is powerful, but his power is limited because God is in control and the devil can only do what the Lord allows. Therefore, pay close attention to today's message, as it will make a big difference in the spiritual battles you face daily. And before we begin, I want to ask you to leave your like, subscribe to my channel, and activate the bell, because every day I want to help you in your walk with God. Amen. So let's go. The first thing, Satan cannot tempt you without God's permission. I want to read with you a very well-known passage that is in Matthew chapter 4. It says, Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. After fasting forty days and forty nights, he was hungry. The tempter came to him and said, If you are the Son of God, tell these stones to become bread. Jesus went to the desert to spend some time alone with his Father and prepare for his three and a half years of ministry. And at the end of the forty days of fasting, who appears to tempt him? Satan? The devil wanted Jesus to satisfy his hunger, which was a natural desire of the flesh at that moment, and he told him to turn the stones into bread. But Christ resisted because he knew that this decision would show that he was not trusting in the Father. And in the same way, today he continues to tempt us. But as I said, he can only do this if God allows it. And God only allows it when he knows that we can resist. Let's see what the Bible says. No temptation has seized you except what is common to man. And God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, he will also provide a way out so that you can stand up under it. The second thing is that Satan cannot read your mind. A very common mistake that Christians often make is to think that the devil has the power to read our minds and find out what our thoughts are. And because of this, many live in fear and even fall into depression. But know one thing, no matter how observant and attentive the enemy is, he cannot read our minds. Let's read what the Bible says in the book of 1 Kings. Then hear from heaven, your dwelling place, forgive and act, deal with everyone according to all they do, since you know their hearts, for you alone know every human heart. Only God knows what goes on in the human mind. He knows each of our thoughts, even the most intimate ones. And when Jesus was here on earth, we notice in several passages that Jesus read people's thoughts, and therefore, he knew what their intentions were. It is so true that he knew that Judas was the disciple who would betray him with a kiss. And even today, Jesus continues to probe the thoughts and desires of our heart. And the fact that the devil cannot read our mind does not mean that we should be calm. The enemy has been studying human behavior since Adam and Eve were created. And so he knows very well how each of us tends to act in situations. He knows our sinful nature and therefore can predict if we are almost falling into temptation or making wrong choices. That's why the Bible says he is like the lion that walks around us looking for someone to devour. So be very attentive, okay? The third thing Satan cannot force you to sin. Another thing that Satan cannot do is force us to commit some sin. Let's read what the Bible says in James chapter 4. When tempted, no one should say, God is tempting me. For God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does he tempt anyone. But each person is tempted when they are dragged away by their own evil desire and enticed. Then, after desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin, and sin, when it is full grown, gives birth to death. This shows that temptation arises due to our sinful desires, but it's important to know that being tempted is not a sin. Sin occurs when we give in to temptation and do what God does not approve of. Although Satan can influence the minds and hearts of people who have not fully surrendered to Jesus, as Christians living under God's grace, we cannot be forced by the enemy to sin. So why do we continue to sin due to our own weaknesses, desires, and lack of seeking God as we should? Jesus stated that whoever lives in sin becomes a slave to sin. 
Therefore, we must be very careful not to return to the old life we had before. Okay? The fourth thing that Satan cannot do is make you suffer without God's permission. Do you remember the story of Job? The Bible reports that Job was a man of integrity, feared God, and shunned evil. God himself said that Job was the most pious and righteous man who lived on earth in his generation. According to the biblical text, one day there was a meeting in the heavenly regions, and God's angels came to present themselves before the Lord. Among them was also Satan. He claimed that he had observed Job and asked for permission to cause suffering in his life, as he believed that Job was faithful to God only because he was rich and blessed. So the Lord allowed Satan to put Job to the test, being able to affect everything he owned except his life. With God's permission, Job lost all his flocks, and his servants were killed. In addition, his children, who were gathered at the youngest brother's house, died when a strong wind knocked the house down on them. Despite everything, Job remained firm until the end, and God restored everything he had lost and even blessed him twice over. However, the most important thing is to understand that the enemy cannot cause us pain and suffering without God's permission. Therefore, my dear brother and sister, when things are not going as expected and you are facing suffering, remember that the Lord is in control of the situation and that your crying will have a determined end. Just like Job, even living the worst moment of his life, do not stop praising and worshiping the Lord on any day. Even amidst internal and external destruction, Job never doubted God's power and goodness. The fifth thing, Satan cannot prevent you from being saved. When Peter was on a missionary journey, he said to the temple priests, Then know this, you and all the people of Israel. It is by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified but whom God raised from the dead, that this man stands before you healed. Jesus is the stone you builders rejected, which has become the cornerstone. Salvation is found in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given to mankind by which we must be saved. Peter was touched by the Holy Spirit at that moment to show the Jews that only Christ was capable of saving someone. And that's what I want you to understand now. Just as the devil is not capable of saving us and giving us eternal life, he also cannot prevent us from receiving salvation. Only we can let that happen when we drift away from God. So, my brother, do not be deceived when people tell you that all paths lead to God and that in the end, everyone will be saved. For only Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Amen. So, I want you to know that no matter how difficult a time you're going through and the devil whispers lies in your mind that God does not exist or that he does not care about you, do not lose your faith in the Lord because he is the only one who will never abandon you and he has already proven his great love by sending Jesus to die on the cross in your place. No matter how much power Satan has over the earth and can do terrible things against humans, he is totally limited and cannot touch those who are born of God because the Lord protects them. So, my dear brother, continue firm in the ways of the Lord, obeying his word and praying every day. Thus, the enemy will never have power over your life. Amen. If you liked this message, I ask that you share it with your friends and family, and I'll see you in the next video. May God bless you.